Hello everybody, welcome back to another CapCut tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to remove backgrounds from your video. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. The first method is a more traditional style where you get some green screen footage like I've got here. And then we remove the green using chroma key. I want to note up front here that CapCut and its green screen functionality is free to use. So there's no charge on this. The second method involves AI, and this is simple background removal. I say simple, but it involves very complex AI to do this, but I'm going to show you how to do that. And we're going to take this lady here, and we're going to put a fun background in behind her. Both of these methods are included in the free plan. Let's go. All right, so before we roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty, I just want to quickly note here that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Recently, I've been wanting to update and upgrade my video editing game, and the way I did that was to go to Skillshare, and I took a couple of their CapCut classes. I did a beginner's class and then I did an advanced class that I can do some of these techniques that I'm going to show you, including the two in this video. I found these courses on Skillshare, the largest online learning community for creatives like you and me. And they have thousands of classes led by industry experts across film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and more. This summer, invest in yourself and your goals by starting a learning journey with Skillshare and take your career, skills, or side hustle to the next level. All right, and if you're looking to upgrade your skills like I am, I've got a link for you. Just click on the link in the description below and you'll receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. All right, let's get cooking. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is this technique here. You'll see we've got some stock footage of some TVs against the wall, and then all of a sudden one of the TVs has some cool 80s sci-fi Miami Vice motion graphics inside of it. How did I do that? Let's start from scratch and go. All right, so there's nothing on the timeline. Let's get cooking here. So the first step, go to import up here at the top left. Then under stock materials, I'm gonna show you how to use pre-built footage and content that they've already got included in it. If you have your own footage that you wanna work with, go ahead and import it as you see fit. But I'm gonna show you how to do it just using their built-in stock stuff. Okay, so under stock materials, I'm gonna go ahead and type in TV. When I do that, I'm gonna hit enter. And watch this, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different options. Now, instead of going type no limit, I'm gonna go type video because I want a video background. So here we go. Look at this one here. This is, I think this is the same one actually. There we go, there we go. I'm gonna grab this one and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put that into the timeline right there at the bottom. Now, the next step is I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna move it up one. So I want this to be on the second video track and there's one underneath it. Okay, hopefully you're following along with me. Piece of cake. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click on that X and I want to add in the footage I want in the background. So again, I'm going to go ahead and let's look under trending. What do we want to star in this video? So we've got the green screen TV and then underneath it, let's go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to go with, let's go with this one here. This looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Let's go ahead and drag that and drop that underneath the green screen footage. Okay, there we go. So nothing has happened yet that's okay. The next step is I'm going to go and click on the top footage here, and then I'm just going to grab the handle on the far right, and I'm just going to make them both the same length, nice and easy. Now, making sure you're clicked on the top screen, this is where the magic comes. We're going to go up here to the top right, and then you'll see we have a few options. I'm going to click on video, make sure you're on the video tab, then go ahead and go to remove BG. That means remove background, and when you do that, I'll just increase the size a little bit here, we get two options. We get auto removal and we get chroma key. There is a custom removal, but that is a paid feature and I'm sticking to the free stuff for this one. So I'm now gonna click on the little checkbox beside chroma key. Nothing happens yet, not to panic. I'm now gonna go ahead and click on that eyedropper, hold it down and look at that. When I hover over the green on the TV, you'll see here that it has gone ahead and basically taken away the green. That said, if you look very closely at the edges here, there's still some green, it's kind of spilled over on the top and the left a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to increase the intensity a little bit, and as I do that, you'll see the green sort of retreats away and it becomes perfect. So that's just the way to do it. You can increase the shadow a bit too, if you see fit. But in this case, it looks like we got a good green screen. Let's make sure the playhead's at the beginning, hit play. Look at that, it's pretty darn cool. Now, the one thing I will note here is we can go ahead and turn the top track off and when we do that, you'll see here we've got the bottom track. We can change the size of this. So if I click on it and I go back to video and I go back to basic, there's a couple ways to do this. I'm just gonna change the scale down to something about TV size. So I'm gonna go with something like that, let's say. Turn the top layer back on 
And then look at this. I'm just going to go ahead and slowly move this in here. Maybe it's a bit too big here. I'm going to pull the handles. Something like that. Now let's see what we got. That is a very cool effect. And we did that in just a few seconds using their chroma key functionality for free. Let's get into the second technique. All right, the second technique is how you can do the same thing, but without any green screen. Let me show you. Here's the original shot of the grandma. She looks like a regular grandma cooking, making mashed potatoes. But here's the thing. This, is, this grandma was actually made with OpenAI Sora. This is a completely AI-generated video. Straight up 100%. Check it out. Now, to kind of keep with that theme, we took away the background, and then we put some Matrix Scary AI in the background because that sort of fits with it. So how did I do that? Let me show you here, start from scratch. All right, here we go. We got a blank timeline. This will be very, very quick. The first step, I'm gonna go into my Finder. If you're on a PC, you may wanna use your Explorer and just grab the video that you're looking to add in. This one here is called Sora Grandma. I'm just gonna drag and import that in as you see here. Now, I'm gonna take it and put it on my timeline just like that. The next step is I'm gonna grab the footage here and I'm going to move it up a track. So it's on the second track we're gonna leave the track below it empty. So there you go. If you don't have any footage, just grab something out of the stock materials here. Uh, I don't know, you could just search for somebody, you know, cooking or cleaning or whatever it is you want it to be. Now, the next step is we gotta put some footage underneath grandma here. So I'm gonna go ahead and under stock material, I'm just gonna type in matrix. Then I'm gonna hit enter. When I do that, you get a whole bunch of different options. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on no limit and restrict it two videos because I don't want any photos I want this to be video stuff and the one that we were going with well let's see what we got here there's a whole bunch of different options let's go with this one here this is the one we used before I like it even though it's scary as hell I'm going to grab that and I'm going to slide that underneath our original footage of the grandma now I'm just going to go ahead and pull the right handle here on the right side so that they're both the same length now the next step is very very easy making sure you're clicked on the original shot here or the video track two of the grandma or whatever you're using. I'm gonna go up here to the top right and I'm gonna see video. I'm gonna to go to remove background and then I'm gonna click on auto removal. This is fantastic. It's gonna go ahead and cook it up and look at that. We've already done it, but I'm gonna go ahead and move her now. So I'm gonna maybe move her to the right side, something like that. And then also I'm gonna grab one of these handles and I'm gonna scale her down a little bit because you'll see here that it even got rid of a little bit of her stomach here. It's just sort of like the top torso. So it, maybe it went a little bit too far, but that's okay. We'll do something like that. We'll put grandma right here, maybe something like that. Cooking up some mashed potatoes. Now let's see what we got. I'll just hit play. Yep, there we go. Looks pretty good. Kind of scary stuff. I will note here, there are a few other things you can do. If you want to put a stroke around her, for example, you can click on that button here and there we go. We've got that white stroke that you see in so many YouTube thumbnails. This one's a little bit less of a stroke. You can adjust it. Here, the size, the color, if you wanted a yellow stroke, for example, you can go ahead and select yellow, and there you go. And also, there's a little bit of offset and some... <laughs> this looks like a, like a mystery movie where, you know, we've got this weird uh, dotted version. But there you go, guys. This is all there is to it, to removing backgrounds in CapCut. Thanks for watching.